Hello, I'm Susan. I'm at the Dzogchen Retreat Center USA, and my teacher, the Dzogchen Kempo Shogun Rinpoche, has asked me to talk on why it is so important that every moment we should love all beings and have faith in Buddha. So to begin with, I'd like to define a few terms. First, Buddha is true happiness. Every being has the desire for happiness, Buddha. Buddha's teachings are still taught today, and my teacher, Dzogchen Kempo Chogo Rinpoche, teaches Buddha's teachings, and I hope to also be teaching something close to Buddha's teaching. So again, faith is a level of commitment. Love is wanting all beings to have happiness. It's an inner feeling. Love is not an outward object. So again, love is wanting all beings to have happiness. And the question again, why is it so important that at every moment we should love all beings and have faith in Buddha? To begin with, if we loved all beings, there would be no killing. We would have no enemies. The world would change a lot. We'd have a lot of extra time, a lot of extra resources. So it just uh, how big love can really be. So on a smaller scale, because all beings want happiness, your loving is a condition for their happiness and the cause for your own happiness. And every moment of love increases your positive thinking and positive karma and decreases your negative thinking and negative karma. And when love is expressed, all beings, situations, and the visible universe that you see are more beautiful. Your whole world will change around you when you express love. And everybody is a Yes, everyone has been in love at some point, and you see that the universe changes. You, you are different inside. You radiate that outside. So this is an inner warmth, outward radiation. Expressing love is an offering of generosity that will benefit you and other beings. Expressing love is a way to rejoice. Rejoicing is inward joy. And again, we radiate joy outwardly when we are loving. Through love, you increase your awareness of others' suffering. And when you increase this awareness, your unconditional love will develop. And don't forget, you are also a being that wants happiness. So, self-love is an aspect of love. So when you love yourself, you can be a vigilant protector of your positive thinking. And by watching your thinking, you can change it. You can apply mantra, which is a way to change your thinking. There are a number of ways to change your thinking. Um, there's an old psychological trick called fake it till you make it. We call it practice. <laughs> by expressing even, by just practicing love that maybe you don't feel, you will deepen your feeling of love. You will deepen your ability to express love. So, in attempts to express love, you also see places where you are not loving, and this kind of lets some of your thinking out of the closet, and thinking can be very tricky and not necessarily wanting to be in the light of love because love can be a pretty bright area. So you again have opportunities to change your thinking through expressing love for yourself. And let's go back to a bigger scale. Most religions use love as a core philosophy of their faith, yet most religions judge, exclude, scapegoat, 
others. Buddha is an unconditional love, more loving than all mothers, for Buddha excludes no one. Your present moment thinking is all that really exists. The past is gone. The future has not yet arrived. What are you thinking? Love is wanting all beings, no exceptions, to have happiness and the causes of happiness. It is an inner thinking, not an outer object. Love. Thank you very much. Thank you.